What is up guys? Uh, sorry I didn't post a video last week and today we got a little something to do. I'm gonna give a shout out to Ray's Energy. If y'all don't know what Ray's Energy is, go to repsports.com. I actually got a coupon code you guys can use. It's a dare LC. I'll put that all down in the link below so y'all can check that out. But I don't have much going on today. I actually had a dumpster pickup the other day, but I didn't really get to film. I forgot the GoPro. Right now I'm filming on my iPhone, so I'm just gonna film some stuff right now on this but here you guys go okay as you guys know there's been some snowstorms here in uh, the Missouri state look at that sun right now it's like 50 degrees outside right now uh, but uh, my side markers on my snow plow this one over here broke off and that one's doing good but I'm just gonna replace them both be a lot easier that way I can just make them look like the same uh, I was actually gonna get the glow ones that ones that light up but the mountings, the brackets for them and everything didn't really, I just gonna have to modify it. So probably gonna have to get a different brand or something. Cause these ones were the buyers, uh, light, you know, like the lightsaber looking side markers for your plow. So I'm gonna, get, I just got regular ones. So we're gonna put those on real quick. Here's the new ones. They actually come with new bolts and nuts. These are, uh, I don't know how much, how tall these ones are compared to the others. It's really muddy over there. I don't even really want to mess with that over there, but I'm gonna have to go over there anyway. So, but oh, it's a little taller than the other, so it'd be kind of nice because you don't see them very well when they're actually, the plow is actually on the ground. So this will be a little bit better. They had 36 inch, but that seemed a little too tall. So let's try to get these old bolts and nuts off. They're pretty rusted on there. So let's try to get those off. Look what I got out, guys, the GoPro. I'm gonna probably use this to do the time-lapse footage on the replacing the side markers on the plow. So let's check that out. It's pretty cool. Cut that first one off. Well, it wasn't that bad the, the bottom one kind of or the top one gave me a little trouble here a little rusty but i got it off just with the wrench and just a regular wrench and a crescent wrench so let's work on that side all right we got both sides off oh i just stepped in a big thing of mud uh but we got both sides off you all probably think i'm crazy because it's like five seconds of time lapse footage i thought it was gonna take a little longer than that but <clears throat> got that taken care of and let's put these new uh side markers on there and see how it looks that looks good i guess these have uh like you can bend these like any way you want but I like them straight up and down i guess over time they might sag up but that actually gives you a good idea of where the actual plow's at when it's straight up you know so that looks pretty good let's get the other one done
the bold side markers on the new ones I'm gonna look at it from the truck and see what it looks like on the inside when the plow's in the ground. That's what really matters. Okay, yeah, you can see those really good. There's another ones because other ones are I don't even know how long those were, but these ones you can legit see. They're like almost higher than the uh, the, the lights on the plow. They're about the same height, but you can't really tell in the camera. But it looks a lot better than it uh, actually did so I'm really happy about that so that's how I do that always worry about my door getting ripped off again because it doesn't stay back and uh, 